y'all. So today, as y'all can see by the little mullet situation that I got going on, I am doing like a 90s grunge type makeup look. Hopefully it looks good. You guys obviously saw from how it looked in the beginning and then also from the thumbnail. But I don't know what I'm doing as of right now. So fingers crossed. I did search up like a couple tutorials and stuff, so we're gonna see if it's giving, you know, rock star. I'm gonna start with my eyes first. I already did my eyebrows, I did them really skinny. I've been doing the straight look, so that means no arch. And I feel like I like it better this way. It just looks a lot more youthful, and I feel like it like lifts up my face. So let's get into it. <laughs> But now we're about to go into the makeup because this has me looking like a raccoon. I'm gonna go back in and add some more stuff, like some more details. But I want to get started on my face so I can see how the full look is gonna look with me adding the additives to my eyes later on. So let's close that up. If you guys want the names of anything, just let me know and I'll drop it down below. I'm not gonna list every single thing that I'm using because that would be a drag for me. I can't lie. But if you guys specifically want anything, just let me know. I'm gonna try to show it like this so you guys get the names because the names are usually on the product. You feel me? It's, it's a give and take. We're working together on this. I do have something to do after. Not like leave the house wise, but like I do have a video to record for my vlogging channel. So I have to make sure this makeup stays on all day. So I'm gonna use the YSL. I got this as like a sample, so we're gonna see if it works. But it's the YSL face primer. We gonna see what it's talking about. It has glitter in it, why? Why does it have glitter? Look at that though. It's priming, I can't front. It's like, it just mattified that whole area, like. Right there, y'all can tell the difference, right? Yeah. Let's have a moment of applause for the makeup upgrade. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. I'm not ready. But y'all definitely ain't ready. <laughs> Too. I just may have gotten that one a little too light, but this one, chef's kiss. 
sorry Nigga, that ain't good game, homie, sorry They say conversation through the nation I can tell, but I could never write my wrongs Unless I write it down for real Basic, nothing too crazy, but it is a little bit more on the fluffier side, but it doesn't look too much fluffier anymore because I've been using it, but I just tap it and then I just, I don't usually put it on my nose, but since I'm trying to deal with like different look, I'm putting it across my nose. Very lightly though, like nothing crazy. You can always build up, you can't take off, especially with makeup. Okay, now it's time to set my face because it's looking hella oily right now. This translucent, that's my favorite. And then this is new, so we're gonna see what this is talking about. This is like a brightener, so yeah. Before I go in and do that though, you gotta make sure you don't have any creases under your eyes. So just pat those out and then go in and set. My eyes are already really small, so I want them to look a little bit bigger. I hope it looks good. I don't know. Yes, it sounds crazy, but that's what you're supposed to do. You're honestly supposed to set your face after every step, but Charlotte Temper is expensive, so we use MIX over here. Plus, I like MIX because it has like a nice dewiness to it. And then after, I just go in and set my face with the Charlotte Tilbury and my new one size because this locks it in place, even though it feels like hairspray on your face. Yeah. Just like helps melt it, like what? It makes it more skin like instead of looking ashy. And this is just gonna set everything. Jesus, I gotta hold my breath. Hold up. <gasps> Lord, Lord of mercy, but look at that. That's an airbrush. 
That's airbrush, babes. Woo. Okay, now the highlighter, then the lip gloss, which is like my favorite. Lip gloss is my favorite, and then I'm done. I like doing a fluffy brush because highlighter in a specific area isn't in, but having that nice healthy glow to your face will always be in in my mind. And this is us that. This Two Face Lip Injection The way how it burns my lips is uncomfortable AF <laughs> Oh my god I guess that's how you know it's working but Jesus it does not feel comfortable all right you guys this is the final look i hope it looks good i think it looks really good i think this is gonna be like the new wave of makeup we're gonna definitely go into like a grungish darkish era of makeup and i just wanted to hit at it first it looks so good like i i'm proud of myself um as y'all as i said in the beginning i am not the best at makeup but it came out like a fire um some goodies in this video that i would recommend is that ysl blur i don't know how much it is that was a sample i gotta look into it but that seems like it's worth it it looks so like fake it looks like i have a filter on my face literally but i'm sure y'all would let me know in the comments if i ate down or not anyway if you made it to the end of this video you already know i love you times 10 and i'm gonna catch you in the next one bye